Welcome to 40 Days of Prayer, is now, John 15 verse 16, week 3. God created us to be His possession and for His glory. However, sin separated us from the Holy God, and all of us fall short of His glory. But through God's grace, we have been justified freely through the redemption that came through Jesus Christ. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, we are now reconciled with our Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ. As joy heirs with Christ, we share the glory of Christ, which God the Father gave to Jesus. Hence, we are now His. We are His chosen people, royal priesthood, holy nation, special possessions, sheep, messengers, and masterpieces. By Isaac Charles Isaac serves as the pastor and church planner at Jubilee Intercultural Alliance Church in Columbus, Ohio, and he and his family are from India. He recently received his ordination with the Ohio Valley District. He has served in church ministries at the CNMA National Office in Reynoldsburg since September 2021. He is married to his wife, Lena, and they have two boys, Brayden and Brian. Let's go deeper, is now, John 15 verse 16 New International Version. Listen to this five-point outline titled, Journey of Purpose. 1. Embracing Humility. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last and so that whatever you ask in my name the Father will give you. John 15 verse 16, NIV. Summary. Acknowledge the humble beginnings of your journey, understanding that your purpose is not self-assigned but chosen by a higher calling. 2. Nurturing growth. You are my friends if you do what I command. John 15 verse 14, NIV. Summary. Cultivate an environment of obedience and friendship, where your growth is nurtured through adherence to divine guidance. 3. Fostering Relationships No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. John 15 verse 15, NIV Summary Foster meaningful relationships based on trust and shared understanding, where the exchange of knowledge enriches your journey. 4. Bearing Fruit Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 15 verse 13, NIV. Summary. Demonstrate love and sacrifice in your actions, bearing fruits of lasting significance that enrich the lives of others. 5. Reaping rewards. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name the Father will give you. John 15 verse 16, NIV. Summary. Rejoice in the abundant blessings and rewards that come from fulfilling your purpose, knowing that your efforts are sustained by divine grace. The five-point summary, inspired by John 15 verse 16, illustrates life's journey, from humble beginnings to nurturing growth, fostering relationships, bearing fruit through love and sacrifice, and ultimately reaping abundant rewards guided by divine purpose. This framework encapsulates key spiritual principles for navigating life's complexities with faith and purpose.